We're back on the chain gang here at WVMT in the morning drive. I could sing this, but you don't want to hear my singing. Uh, <laughs> but I do sing on the show regardless, though. But uh, uh, we like are Christina here Hines, with uh, Rice students, Lily Deemer, uh, Aaron Grennan, and Ramsey Stevenson on the big musical play this weekend, uh, Little Women. And, you know, it's a musical. So we know you are all going to be singing. Yeah. So I think we got to, I know it's early in the morning. Your voices might not be quite as good as they will be at night when you're doing the play. But we got to, I think we got to hear your singing voices a little bit. Who wants to start out? Um, I can start if you like. All right. Ramsey, give us a little, give us a little flavor of the singing you're going to do. All right. Do. Could I give a little bit of context before I Absolutely. sing it? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So one of the second song I sing in the beginning of act one is called Better. And the song is inspired from Joe March is 19 years old and she's living in New York City. And at the time she is trying to get her stories published. And as I'm sure everyone knows back then, like a woman trying to get a story published, like pe- like it was a very male dominated society. Like men didn't view women as equals. Therefore, like if a woman were trying to publish a story, they would be like, no, you're, you're a woman. Like this isn't, you know, going to work. Dang, males back then? Yeah, re- really. Um, yeah. <laughs> and some today. <laughs> yeah, that is facts. Absolutely. Um, so um, the male character, one of the male leads, um, Professor Bear, he is telling Joe that her stories could be better. And Joe, having spent so much time and passion and energy writing these stories, is like very angry. So as he's storming off the stage and saying, like, your stories aren't adequate or you could do better, she's angrily yelling, I, I, this is, how can I do better than this? Like, this is my best. And then that leads us into the song Better, which I can sing now. I just wanted to give that context. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. perfect. I like the setup. Can you give me a, count, a countdown? All right. <laughs> One, two, three. Better. Better than what? Better than this dazzling plot. Better this story will be my kingly heir. Wow. Whoa, I yeah. like that. Nice. Yeah. That's my morning voice, but Holy thank you. No. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Wow, I can't believe you're putting them on the spot and they're they're doing this. I'm impressed. I'm I very love impressed. it. No, that, if that's your morning voice, boy, everybody, you better go to the show. <laughs> it's going to be a great if show. Be, if it's better than that, I thought that was pretty dang good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, Lily, you want to give us you want to give us a little context to this too? Yeah. Okay. So mine's a duet, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. So if it seems like Give place. me the words. I'll do the other part. <laughs> <laughs> no, you better not. Yeah, but basically, Amy like falls in love with Lori, who's Joe's best friend, who he used to like, and he also used to like the other sister and the other sister. But basically, he ends up settling for Amy. <laughs> and settling. so settles a strong one. <laughs> so, he settles for Amy. So they're like madly in love, and they're like all goofy. So they have this song where they're telling Joe like that he proposed to her, and like they're gonna be married and stuff. So, yeah, okay. We, wait. Okay. okay. You want to no count worries. down, too? Yes, yes. All right, ready? I, I think I messed up the first For episode. Lily. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. We were under the bridge of size, under Italian skies. She was singing lullabies. <laughs> he said he liked the way I sing. The day was ours. We talked for hours. It was amazing. Yeah, no, I did the guy part too. Wow! Wow! wow. Like you got some good singing. Oh, no. Holy cow! <laughs> now the pressure's on. I'll tell you what. This is oh, no, 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 this, your moment, Aaron. Yeah, exactly. This is. I'm going to make this declaration. This is better than the way I sing on the show. I, I sing on the show. And people sometimes call up and make fun of me and complain about it. But I'm going to yeah. keep doing it anyway. But, but it's definitely. You should sing at the end. But it's definitely better than mine for sure. <laughs> All right. So we've got two great performances already. Now, can Aaron? I mean, excuse me. Yes, Aaron. I'm, I'm confusing the names. Can Aaron match the, the Oh, galaxy? geez. Let's, all right. What do you got for setup here? Yeah, give uh, us so the setup too. Context. Uh, this is the song. Uh, it is a duet as well, but the first part is just me. Uh, it is a duet with the person that I am trying to court uh, right Meg. before I go off to war. Yeah. Meg. <laughs> Meg. Uh, and so this is right before I'm about to head off to the Civil War. And it's sort of like a. Um, I'm willing to marry you now, though we've only known each other a very short time, uh, in the hopes that when I come back, we can have an amazing life. And then, you're, of course, you're pining for this. Yes, is what you're yes, pining yes, for? exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we've got the context. You ready for it? Yeah, let's do All it. All right, one, three, two, one, Aaron. If you could find it in your heart, if you could love me as I love you, 
If only you care what we are apart, then I could be rich, I could be wise, I could be more, more than I am. Well, wow. nice. That's so good. I can't so believe good. what good yeah. singers these bad. guys are. So obviously, Mr. Oh, well, Ginter, nice yeah, job with these gonna, guys. Whoa. Now, is, is the show's not is the show a cappella? No. no, there's a pip band. There is a band. Oh, you want to talk about the the orchestra? Me? Right? Oh, um, well, we do or have one did. that Mr. Ginter's been working with, and like we had our first. Um, we had a dress rehearsal yesterday, and that was the first time we did it like properly with the pit full band. run through. Yeah, and it was like they were so good. Like for the most part, they were like on top of it. Great. <laughs> it was like pretty wow. impressed. I was like, wow, how do you do that? Now, Lily, <laughs> you're a freshman. Yeah. So what? What is your? And this is your first big play. What's your future? Do you want to take this through high school and consider doing something with this after you get out of school? Yeah. What's your plans? Um, I'm thinking. Like, not necessarily, like, theater, but more just towards the singing route. Like, I want to be a singer, but I, I know it's, like, kind of, like, far-fetched. But, like, that's, like, what I want to be when I'm older. But, so, like, I'm thinking about, like, probably, like, doing something with music in, like, college for the future. And just, like, nice. music all through high school. Yeah. All the, definitely not like, far-fetched. If you want to yeah. sing and you can sing, <laughs> I mean, we just heard it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. Think it's a bad, Ramsey, bad what... Time. What uh, you've done a few of these. I have. What's yes. it? Uh, what's it like when you first go out on stage, and do you do you expect because you've you've been there, done that? Yeah. Do you expect there to be? Is it going to be a filled auditorium? Um, I think it really depends on the person. But I know for me personally, when I'm performing, or say when I'm about to perform and go on the stage, the number of people in the audience doesn't really bother me. It's block really, it out. Yeah, I just well, number one, I block it all out, and number two. Usually when I'm on the stage, I can't even see the audience because it's so dark. And the lights um, yeah, yeah. are like, be well, you know the feeling. The lights are beaming yeah. down and you can't see the audience. So you pretend like the audience isn't there. Yeah. And sometimes it's like a psychological thing. If you pretend the audience isn't there, even though in the back of your head you know they are, if you pretend they're not there, then your performance is going to be so much better. Because you can focus on, on what's happening right there on stage. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So every time we run through this musical, we did our first run through yesterday, like which was one, yeah. a little rough, but we'll have it ready by um, Friday night, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by Friday night. Yeah, um, yeah keep yeah. going. I use that technique, and I seem to do better than when I didn't use it. Hey, we got a call for you. Oh. All right, let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're live on The Morning Drive. Good morning. In Little Women, what roles would... Anthony and Kurt fill the best. Can I say it to Anthony? Um, yeah, but there's only like three main roles, yeah. but yeah. so like there, it's pretty limited. So they could only be like three, like like they have to be like at least two of them. like. Okay, yeah, but that's obvious. Never mind. The female roles. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. want to give us the yeah. female roles. Yeah, see, Aaron knows Let's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you can choose. You can choose, Aaron. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to be pining after me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's. Uh, thanks for that question, by the way. That was a great <laughs> well, no, yeah, best uh, question. You can answer. So, who, me, I don't know. You don't know. You, uh, you know. Aaron, Aaron knows. I can, I can only speak to Anthony. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, I would have to say that sort of an an Aunt March character. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, she, she's that's a grumpy she old lady. Like, oh, that is she's not true. She has she has amazing <laughs> she has... moments of comedy throughout the show. Oh yeah, oh, she yeah. can be funny. Okay. Yes. Okay. The comedy. I appreciate that. Absolutely. That's good. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> let me ask you, Aaron. Do you ever get stage fright? But as before you go out on stage, do you ever get butterflies? Like uh, you know, a little stage fright beforehand, and then it goes away quickly, or how does it work? I, I I'm always curious about this as a person that. You know, wish I had done this, but I never did, and I, I'm always I always felt like I would get stage fright first. Yeah, uh, so absolutely, uh, because I started theater uh, in like elementary school, like uh, third or fourth grade. Uh, it was sort of that experience of at that age group, the people in the audience are all your very personal friends. So from a very early age, uh, the people that I knew I was talking to in the audience or being able to see because we didn't have all the crazy lights and stuff back then uh, were my friends. Uh, and so from then on, I just made sure to always have some friends of mine invited to the production, uh, know where they're sitting. So if at any point I am able to see the audience, I'm able to just zone in on them uh, and have that sort of just familiarity. 
That's a great idea. I, it's interesting to hear about different uh, techniques because stage fright, I think, is one of the big reasons why a lot of people um, don't get involved in drama because it's, it's it's daunting to step up in front of a live audience. Yeah. It really is. I want to. Uh, we're almost out of time, but I want to ask each one of you um, if you could going forward, if you could be in any musical that you haven't been in, what would be the one musical you'd want to be? Oh, that's, that's hard. It's that's a great question. <laughs> I, I mean, I went to a play, a musical, when I was a junior. I didn't. I wasn't in it, but my friends were, and we had, just had a great time going to it, which was Oklahoma. Oh. That's a good one. Oh yes. Oh, you should sing Oklahoma, that. where the wind goes. No. <laughs> <laughs> See why I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Go ahead. I, can I mean, okay. This like I saw this like recently, um, and I remember like I watched like Hairspray live, mm-hmm. and I remember uh-huh. I saw like clips of it, like, and I was like, actually, that looks so fun to be in. So honestly, yeah. like Hairspray seems so fun. Hairspray. That's there you a good go. Choice. Yeah. One of my son's favorites, <laughs> R- Ramsey. Um, could I also give a part? Because I have a musical sure. a part with it. This is very generic, but um, I've always wanted to be in the musical The Phantom of the Opera oh, and play Christine yeah. Gaillet. Oh, wow. Right? Like, that's one of my dream roles. There you go. That's interesting. How about you, Aaron? You got uh, one? Uh, I really like uh, sort of playing historical roles. Uh, so I definitely have to go for Newsies or something like that. Uh, so where I'm you know, playing a very much so like ingrained character. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. What about West Side Story? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, that, that is one. Actually, that'd be, I that'd like awesome. that. Awesome. Have you seen the new one that's yes. come out? Yeah, the yes. it's actually so good. With Rachel Zegler. I like it. Oh, I, I haven't yes. seen it. I saw I the original it. one. You oh, you it's have to amazing. see it. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Like, would, yeah. you guys, would you guys want to do that one someday? Oh, oh, oh absolutely. I'd, I mean, I'd yeah. love to. <laughs> yeah. What was the big one that you guys were each in? I know you, Aaron, and, and Ramsey, you've been in some other ones. But what were the biggest ones you've been in before your this Your favorite one? musical prior to this, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I'd have to say it was the one that I got a lead in. Uh, well, the lead in uh, Shrek oh in eighth grade. Oh, Shrek. Uh, that, was, that was a very, very good memory. Uh, that was a very I fun, bet that was very fun. Play. Yeah, I was watching the old video of um, your production of Shrek the other day. He was really good. Like, <laughs> oh I highly God. recommend everyone look Sorry. it up and watch it because the performance is amazing. That's the beauty uh, of YouTube, right? Yeah, you guys, exactly. Yeah. Final videos from 2017. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Right. Great right. job, you guys. So somebody who, who wants to, Ramsey, give us the... The times of the of the musical again, so that everybody you know, you get a chance. You got like four different opportunities, right, to go to this this play. Yeah. Um. All right. So times again, we have opening night Friday night at seven p.m. We have um Saturday afternoon at one. Is it one or two p.m.? One p.m. At one p.m. We have Saturday night at seven p.m. and we have Sunday afternoon also at um one p.m. two p.m. Sorry. And Ramsey, you are in which two as the. I am playing Joe in um, the Saturday night performance at seven, and the Sunday afternoon performance. And let's give a plug to the again to the per, the the one that's playing the role in the oh, other two. Yes, Grace. Um, Grace is playing Joe first. She is playing Grace opening night Friday at seven, and she is also playing. She's Joe. She's also playing Joe <laughs> Saturday afternoon at one. All right. All right. Great job, guys. You guys have great singing voices. I'm very jealous. And then when you go back, who's in French with my son? Me. Okay. All right. So, so Lily, when you go he, back, tell him I wasn't that embarrassing. Okay. Uh, and he should go mouthy. to the show. He's and, and and he shouldn't be so mouthy. Okay. There we go. And then he's going to ask you to. We're going to ask you to give reports to Anthony on things that you see that he's doing. Okay. Oh yeah. Get him, that, let's get him into that's trouble. Go over oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks guys for coming in. We're going to check in with Fox News, and we'll be back right after this on News Talk WVMT.